Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mark. I'm doing a review for something I wanted to cover for a while now. Um, it's this F-Stop Labs ND filter set for the Mavic Mini. Um, this is a six piece filter set. It comes with an ND4816 and then a 48 and 16 with the circular polarizers on it. Now that there's been a new firmware update for the Mavic Mini to give you full manual control over the exposure and the shutter speed, these are essential. Uh, before, you know, this would provide great footage, but it would do everything automatically. You had no control over it. So while the footage looked great, it was, you know, over sharpened and it was kind of so rigid when you would have movement that it didn't really have that natural motion blur that you get when you shoot um, at double your frame rate. So I typically short, shoot at 24p. If I were to double my frame rate, that means I need to use a 150th shutter speed. Um, if I do that, and as you'll see in the video, if I shoot it at a 150th shutter speed to get that natural motion blur on a sunny day, the footage is completely unusable. It's totally washed out. It's just overexposed. Um, with the ND16 on here, it, you know, it, it looks a million times better. It has, gets that natural motion blur. It looks great. Uh, it makes the quality of this 10 times better than it was. And it was already great to begin with. So I wanted to shoot some video. I went to a park nearby where I shot some side-by-side -side video with this with no filter at all, um, set to 150 shutter speed. No filter set to the auto shutter speed, which I think came out to like 1 500th of a second, which is you know way too fast. And then I shot it um, with the ND16 on there. Um, just being how sunny it was, I had to use the 16. So I highly recommend if you're using a Mavic Mini and you want to get you know some real pro looking footage that's you know has that nice natural motion blur, you got to get a set of ND filters. Um, this one, I it's probably the most affordable that I've seen that gives you six piece filter set. I believe right now they're about fifty nine dollars. I want to say um, I'll put a link in the description. This is essential now with this new firmware update, and it put this drone. It made it from being more of a toy drone to you know, you can actually get some pro looking footage out of this drone now. Um, you know, this has always been one of my favorites and this just makes it even more so. This ND filter that I have on here right now is the, is the, um, the ND16 with the polarizer on there. And it has not come, other than doing this video shoot today, this has not left the drone since um, I got these. It basically lives on there. I use it for everything. So there's that. So now, as far as putting these on, you know, it's super easy. Like I now, like my main drone is the Mavic Air 2 and it is such a pain in the ass to change the filters on there. These are really, really easy. They just have, you know, this little loop on the back. So they just pop right over the gimbal. Um, you know, these things weigh nothing, but it's, you know, you're not gonna break them. You just pop them on over the gimbal. Um, just hold the gimbal in one hand, pop these over on the other. And they just, you know, they just come right off. Uh, there you go. Put it right back on. That's it. They're super easy to use. Um, the polarizers actually have the ring that spins, so you can, you know, set it correctly. There's a little white line where you can line it up on the the lens and then on the actual, um, like, the filter housing. So you can line up that to make sure, you know, the polarizer set properly. I'm going to shut up now. Check out the footage. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try and answer whatever I can. Check it out.
Thanks guys. I hope you know this video was somewhat helpful with the side by side. Um, like I said, the footage coming out of this looks great when it's set to auto, but it just doesn't have a natural motion blur within with these filters on there. It gets the motion blur um, and it gives you some really great looking footage. Uh, so again, this is F-Stop Labs Mavic Mini ND filter, the six piece filter set. I'll put the links in the description. Again, if there's any questions, let me know. Thanks.